plan. Uh, today we're going to take a look at um, farming with hog riders. Um, I guess you could call it farming. Uh, you can use this strategy uh, in clan wars as well. Uh, obviously a lot of people um, are familiar with hog riders, uh, especially uh, during clan wars. A lot of people are saying that you know, hogs are pretty much dead. Uh, they're of no use since being nerfed, um, since all the updates, the giant bonds, things of that nature. Uh, it's still arguably one of the most effective strategies out there. Uh, the great thing you can do with with um, with hogs is, uh, you know, they're rather inexpensive. Um, I would say, um, in terms of um, either farming or uh, performing a war. Um, uh, it's just cashing some of this loot. You know, we got kind of lazy last night. We didn't do any farming. We took an early night last night. Um, we are definitely um, have some upgrades going. We got uh, balloons going up to level five. Um, you know, I got three builders free. Uh, we're actually going to upgrade one of the barracks. I don't know which one I want to do yet, so uh, we'll probably check that. Uh, we got a little bit of time before the war starts. Um, but let's take a look at some of the replays. Um, before we do that, first things first, um, if you're going with hog riders, um, I would say definitely, uh, you definitely want to upgrade them as quickly as possible, um, you know, corresponding to your level. Uh, me, I got out to a late start, um, you know, I never really was a, a hog type of guy. The only reason I kind of got into it, you know, looking at some of my higher up clan mates use them. Um, they're very effective in clan wars. They do a great job. Um, but the, the the biggest thing about hog riders is that it is a gamble. Um, you know, it's pretty much a hit or miss type thing. So either you're going to get, you know, a lot of loot, you know, a lot of stars, or you're going to get next to nothing. Um, me, what I use um, in terms of my, uh, my farming, um, let's take a look at it. Uh, Sorry, right now I got all minion ray going. Uh, we can do one of those live in a minute. Um, but usually what I take is about, uh, you're looking at about 24 uh, level 2 hog riders and 40 um, minions. Obviously I bring my hero. Um, you also definitely want to bring heal spells. Uh, you know, depending on the time that you have going, um, you know, you you should be about two or three uh, heal spells. Um, a couple of these I got kind of lazy. Um, you know, one of these I got a hundred. I went in with one heal spell. You know, but um, you know, you definitely want to have uh, heal spells on deck. You know, multiple if possible. Um, you know, right now mine are level two. As I said, I got kind of got started kind of late um, with hogs. You know, it took me a while to kind of you know, really get interested in them. Uh, but it's definitely an effective strategy um, if you can use them the correct way. Um, you definitely want to use heal spells. Do not use raid spells. They serve no purpose. Um, whenever you're scouting a base, you definitely want to take a look at, um, definitely take a look at, you know, possibilities of giant bombs. Those are your biggest enemies, um, especially if you have low-level hogs. Um, you know, if you're, you, if you're going to clan war, you can use level two. Um, they are not the most effective though. Uh, you want to go at least level three or four or up, um, in terms of using hogs and, um, in clan wars. Reason being because, um, they do a, more damage quicker. Um, and they also last a lot longer. So, um, that's one of the biggest things. Uh, so let's get to this first rate. Uh, let's start with this one here. I uh, got 69% for two stars. A little bit of loot. I think I got a little lazy on this one, but we'll take a look at it. Uh, first things first, what you always want to do whenever you're doing a hog raid is you want to identify the clan castle and lure out any troops as possible. As you can see, I, I did lure, then I sent in my max hogs from this from the exact same way. Reason being, um, is because I already uh, dispatched uh, some of my uh, hogs there, and I know there's not a giant bomb there, so um, I just go straight in. Um, 
why are you also doing it? Uh, you're going with your hard right. Sometimes they uh, they split up. You want to go with the biggest pack. That's what I always roll with. Um, you want to kind of stay out and head of them, and you want to cover as many uh, defensive structures or structures as possible with your heel spell. You know, you just don't want to drop them behind them. You want them to kind of run into them. Uh, as you can see, my guys are running good. I got a barbarian king chasing me. Um, and he's chasing me around. As you can see, my my hearts are, um, you know, kind of, you know, just uh, dispersed. Uh, kind of quickly, a little quicker than I, you know, I wanted to. But, I mean, it really only had, a, you know, heel spells, you know, a couple of heel spells. So, you know, you definitely want to make sure you use, make use of that. Um, then I chase them with uh, my uh, my Barbarian King and the Minions. Uh, with this, I want to kind of surround the base a little bit. I've cleared out this whole section over here. Uh, so that's why I want to kind of send my minions through and let them uh, clean up a lot of this loot. You see, we're just eating up this dark elixir and this elixir over here. Um, at this point, you know, um, you know, I'm just getting what I can. Uh, my Barb King is going in and he's doing a lot of the grunt work. And he's, he's serving almost like a giant or a golem at this point. Where he's absorbing the damage, and my minions are just cleaning up the base um, behind him. And you know, I love minions. Normally, I would, I would, you know, guard against using mixing ground troops and uh, air troops. Um, it's, you know, it's it's really not, not a good look. Uh, not the most effective thing. Reason is because if you use an all ground troop, right? Um, you're pretty much limiting the air defense and air mine traps that they have. Um, you know, but if you use ground troops, you're pretty much maximizing the effectiveness of the opposing base. Um, so let's just say, you know, we sent an array similar to what I did. Um, you know, if I would have came in with all ground troops, um, you know, those air defenses and those air mines are pretty much um, useless in that raid. Uh, vice versa, if you know you you send in you know uh, if you were to do an all air raid, you know, that would limit the uh, the effectiveness of your mortars and cannons. So you know you kind of want to look at it that way. Um, me, I just like minions. They do a great job of cleaning up very quickly. They move quickly throughout the base, um, and when they pack up, they do a great job of uh, of cleaning up work. Very effective. I don't have to worry about walls or anything. I can just go in. Up, uh, scoop up the loop. Uh, second raid we're going to take a look at uh, is 100%. Uh, the funny thing is with this one, I got uh, I got 100% with one heal spell. So uh, and then I actually used 20 archers. I can't even remember why I had 20 archers on me. You know, just some crazy stuff. I think I took them because I didn't have any. I have a hero. But we're going to take a look at that. And once again, ladies and gentlemen, you want to identify the clan castle. Um, we actually, oh, we were on my clan castle, and that's what I accidentally did, drew out the clan castle. That actually drew out the dragon, and I used uh, my minions as well as the archers um, to dissipate uh, with this dragon. Um, and like I said, you want to definitely send your hogs in um, from pretty much the same spot where you uh, test. You want to send one hog as a test just to look for any giant bombs and um, as you can see, this base is rather compact. Compact. Um, that's probably the reason I was able to get away with this heal spell. Um, you know, you definitely want to wait till your 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 hearts get down to health a little bit and let the heal spell kind of regenerate them. Um, but you can see everything is really compact and close together, um, so we're able to do a good job of of getting uh, most of the necessary things out of the way. Uh, as you can see, we kind of. I, I, you know, we got a couple of minions still running around here. Um, you know, I got one hog left. Uh, he's gone. Um, but now I got minions just dispersing everywhere. And I'm just going to surround that, that uh, top corner up there. And then you just see those air bombs go off. You want to kind of spread minions out if possible. Um, reason being because those air bombs, they come out, um, you know, they can they can do a lot of damage. They take out multiple um minions um you know one at a time so you definitely want to watch out for those uh but as you can see i mean they're just going through and they're wiping out there's really not much of an air defense 
um, to handle them. The only thing left is the Archer Tower. Uh, you can see they're beating up that uh, Barbarian King. But you can see just really how quickly uh, they can uh, just chew through things. And, and, you know, they cause a big problem because there's, you know, they can cover a, a vast amount of space um, to be so small. Um, and like I said, they just, they do great cleanup work. Uh, you, you know, obviously you've probably seen them um, uh, with uh, balloon attacks. Um, but as you can see, they go through, and once that archer tower is done, uh, it's pretty much game over. Uh, and as you can see, it gets the rest of the gold, gets 100% for that. Um, you know, kudos, whatever. Um, you know, I actually started off, this was uh, yesterday, I actually started off with some very good loot. And as I've always said, gold has the best loot. Um, as you can see, this is going to be the one I'm going to show you now. I had three hill sales. Um, 100% three star on that one. Same to army composition. We got the 24 hogs, um, Barbarian King, uh, 40 minions, three hill sales. And you can see the loot on this. Great job. We even picked up 34 cups on this. Now let's take a look at it. And let's just take a look at the base before we even start. Um, the first thing is first when I'm looking at this. This is a Town Hall 9 base. That's what makes it even worse. Um, you know, rather kind of rushed. Um, but you see he has two X bows. Um, you know, he's got a lot of loot. I definitely want to test this base. Um, reason being is because it's so compact. Um, as you can see, when I say compact, I mean everything is in its own separate compartment. Ladies and gentlemen, please do not do this. Um, the thing is, you want to, uh, you want to either give the illusion or you want to um, space things out to um, give the illusion that you have giant bomb placements um, to to try to detour, if not uh, kill hard. Uh, so the first thing I'm looking at here, uh, this space here. Now we got a lot of empty space here. Now there's a couple things that could be here. Uh, we could have uh, three Teslas, you know, a Tesla and two bombs. You know, there's a couple of things that could be here. But the thing I look at it is there's really not a defensive structure in there. So my highs necessarily won't go through that path because there isn't uh, any defense. Um, secondly, um, I'm identifying, once again, uh, you know, looking at the Town Hall 9, he has at least three or four giant bombs. Um, so usually um, good bomb placement will be in between uh, defensive structures. So that's what I'm looking at here. We have um, uh, an archer tower and a cannon and then a separate space here. So I'm assuming there's a giant bomb right there. But everything else is just pretty much fair game. And what it allows me to do is um, it allows my, my, uh, my hogs to really do a good job of, of going from spot to spot. But it also makes my uh, my heal spell placement that much better. So as we can see, uh, we're looking at this corner right here. Um, if I zoom in, um, I know that if I get to this corner here or if I deploy to this corner, uh, I want to go right at this expo with my heal spell. And reason being, it's going to cover pretty much this whole section right here. Uh, so I know my you know my hogs will be protected, taking out this wizard tower, that cannon. Archer Tower, you know, that other Wizard Tower, it can take all this out in that, that time frame while I got that out. Uh, once again, if I look over here, you know, I, I see these structures over here, these defensive structures kind of cluttered up. You know, I can drop my heal spell somewhere right over here and have them protected to go through there. And if I look up, you know, right up here, either at the top here or the bottom here, whichever one, whichever path my heart decides to take, um, you know, I can drop that uh, that heal spell right over there. So I got three or four. Um, I definitely got three, I possibly four places where I can do. Um, now looking at it, if we don't have the giant bomb right in this location, then that's a possibility that it's in one of these open locations. So what I want to do is, first things first, I want to uh, check the clan castle, see if there are any clan castle troops in there. If there are, I want to lure them uh, probably over here to this builder's hut and kill them. Um, 
you know, if there's not, then next thing I want to do is pick a spot to um, to drop my hog. Um, you know, I want to send one hog in just to see if there's a giant bomb, and then I'm going to send the rest of my hogs in after that. All right, so let's take a look. Okay, and we went through there, so there's nothing there, so I can send the rest of my hogs to rule there. And just watch them go to work. And like I said, I don't want to necessarily just drop my heal spill right off bat. I want to let them take a little bit of a damage. And as you can see, there goes that heal spill that I was talking about. Dropped it right over there where that um, where that expo is. And it's going to give me maximum coverage um, and allow my guys to, to do work and get healed at the same time. And there goes the three Teslas. That I kind of pretty much figured is if it's going to be Teslas or giant bombs, you know, one of the other. Um, as you can see, they're trying to do work, but you know, while they're getting healed, I mean, they're they're just putting in work. Um, you know, and just look at look at them go. Uh, as you can see, I kind of um, dropped this heal spell here to to give them um, a nice area so that at least a couple of them can take out these Teslas and be healed at the same time. Tesla's necessarily aren't a big problem for me, um, but as you can see, I want them to really, really take out a lot of different things. This expo is down. Um, you know, I can't really see if it's uh, pointed up or whatever, but it's not really being used or or, or being effective. Um, next thing now, I've taken everything. My hearts are gone, and I dropped my hero uh, as well as some minions. And basically, what I want to do is. Um, allow my minions to do work and send them in uh, in kind of a wave type of demonstration. Send the first wave in first and let them go and also sweep for giant mines. You can take um, a couple of uh, balloons with you if you want to and send those through the base first uh, to kind of um, absorb any mines or whatnot or uh, air bombs. Um, you know, I just decided to go ahead and send my, send my minions in. There's one air defense up here. Um, you know, I'm not kind of worried about it. He's shooting off, uh, picking off a couple of my guys at, at a time. But the thing is, is that the great thing about minions is they, they love to group up. And, you know, they'll meet again and, you know, they'll, they'll take this guy out. Uh, as you can see, my, uh, my Barbarian King is doing some great damage out here on the, on the, uh, on the outside, clearing out this base. Um, and you'll see we're just racking up the loot, just taking it all. The only thing that's left that can hurt us is the um, the wizard tower and the air defense. The air defense I'm not worried about. It's the wizard tower, um, definitely because it can it does great great splash damage against them. Um, but as you can see, he kind of gets distracted a little bit. And once that happens, and my uh, my minions are able to take down this air defense, it's pretty much game over. Um, so great job, um, you know, great job on this raid. Like I say, you know. If you want to use hogs and watch this air bomb just take out, you know, most of those. And I got this pretty much at, with the time allotted, you see, I got that uh, three star with one second left to spare. Um, but like I say, when you're doing hog rays or you're you're doing um, uh, hogs in clan war, you know, first things first, you want to identify where the clan castle is and where to lure it. Uh, second thing is, um, these are pre-attack, um, you know, second thing is you want to identify p possible places for, uh, giant bombs. And third thing is you want to, um, you know, check, uh, where you're going to, uh, drop your, your, your hail spells. Um, it's very important to kind of, when you're, when you're dealing with hogs, you want to definitely be, um, be a step ahead. You know, you don't want to get in the middle of it. And, you know, something goes wrong. That's the thing about, uh, as we said before, you know, hog ray can go either right or you can go very right or very wrong. You know, anyone who's really um, dealt with hogs, you, can, you know, they can definitely tell you that. Even the best laid plans can go, you know, go to hell with hogs. Um, you know, but like I said, the thing is you want to identify the clan castle, you know, identify possible um, giant bomb locations. And uh, also identify places where you want to drop your heal spell. Um, you know, and planning ahead helps you out in the fact that, uh, you know, you don't have to worry about rushing or, 
you know, what to do, you know, in case, you know, this or that happens. Because a lot of times what happens with hogs is once you put them in, as you can see through each video, you're going to have a couple of them that are going to do their own thing. And like I said, you just want to keep up with the game pack. That's what I like to do unless they pretty much do a 50-50 split. Um, but I definitely like to keep up with the main um, the main herd of them. Um, once you've identified your three steps, uh, then you want to, you know, lure the clan council. You know, check the clan council out, see if there's anything in there. If it is, drag it to a corner and kill it. If not, you know, um, you know, you can start your raid from that side if it's a beneficial side. You definitely want to send uh, start the raid um, where there's the most defensive structure. Uh, if possible, you know, as long as there's not really a giant bond located there, um, you know, but uh, you know, definitely want to do that. Also, with your heal spells, you want to make sure that you cover as much space as possible, um, as many structures as possible to let your hogs run free, and that'll minimize um, the need to to drop multiple um, heal spells in in you know one location. You want to definitely um, treat those heal spells like gold because that's what's going to keep your your hogs running. Um, don't worry about the barking, you know, chasing you around. Don't worry about the skeletons. Um, in this rate, you know, I took 24. Uh, usually, if you're going into a, a war, you're going to take like 28 or 28 hogs or more. Uh, like I say, but for me, I, I would say don't um, don't use hogs. Um, anything lower than like a level three, um, you know, giant bombs just really just do a do a number on you, especially if you, you know, you make an accident or you're unable to drop that heal spell uh, before that game. Um, you know, other than that, you know, um, guys, keep clashing. I'm going to get into a couple of raids here. And while we're here, let's just do a, a minion raid. We have nothing else to do right now. Uh, let's take a look and we'll find somebody to attack. I love minions. Uh, Minions to me are one of the um, one of the better troops. They are the air version of uh, archers to me. That's pretty much what they are. Uh, space is all right. We can do better though, I think. Let's see what we can find. Hope we don't have to get desperate. The one good thing about gold is uh, gold level is that there's usually some good loot somewhere around. This one kind of looks promising. Uh, okay. Yeah, let's just look around. I just like to take a, you know, a pretty good look at what we've got going on. And, okay. Looks decent. We've got three air defenses. But we have three hill spells. So let's check it out. And the way you begin any raid, you want to check the clan castle. And there are no troops. And I even got a giant bomb to deploy. So, uh, let's just drop some minions in a U-shape here. Okay, let those eat up. Okay, let's drop some more behind those. And since we're getting getting some uh, slack from this air defense, I'm going to drop a heal spell in. And let's send some more minions. And some more minions. And let's drop some down here. Okay. Uh -huh. And let those go. Basically right now I'm just trying to get some loot. Drop a heal spell. Oh, we just got taken out. Okay. And that's great. And let's just drop this Barb King. We got 50% already. I'll just drop another heal spell just for the sake of it. Uh, get that last little elixir there. Uh -huh. And look at the Bar King go. Go get him. Go get him. Go get him. Good job, Barb. You're the best. You're the best. I don't know why you didn't go after these uh, mines and collectors over there, but it's okay. So a little one star, a little bit of loot, but, you know, it was a quick raid there. So other than that, thank you guys for checking out the channel. Um, you know, you can check this out at Driving Forces Clan 
uh, .blogger.com, um, or you can check out some of our other uh, great videos. You know, I hope to see you guys in the future. Uh, you know, thanks for viewing, and keep clashing.